<laughs> and we're live in three, two, one. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to yet again another segment of Suburb Talks. I'm your host, Nick Arheta. Joining me tonight, we have a couple of special guests. First time podcaster, but has been in YouTube videos, Maria Lee. Hi. We also have Daniel Fabris. Yes, sir. And Cynthia Choi. Howdy. And that's it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and... I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Luke, go ahead and say hi. They can't miss you, bro. Your head is huge. Hello. <laughs> Anyways, though, um, yeah, so this is a... I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> My bad. Why don't you introduce them where we're filming? You you introduce it. Hello, everybody. Um, today, we are at the Greta E. Fabris residence. Um, thank you, our, our homeowners. Thank you for the hospitality. Yes, sir. Of course, of course, of course. Yeah. Nah, for, so for those of you who don't know, um, I actually did just move into an apartment recently. Um, hopefully... This 40-year-old man moves in with me. <laughs> Why you got to say I'm 40 every time, bro? Um, if Fabris looks like he's 40 years old, please drop a old man guess, emoji guess in the comments. Age. Guess my age in the comments. Guess, guess Fabris' age in the comments. I'm with that. That's, that's, that's cool. But if he moves in with me, we actually going to have this place to ourselves, which means lots of naked videos. Maybe even a sex tape. <laughs> Go ahead and tell him. You can tell him. You can tell him it's true. You can, I'm going to tell him what you Snapchatted me last night. I Snapchatted them a picture of me in the bathroom naked, and Fabris said, damn, I'm really happy Oh, you're to see a grown it. man. Stop saying naked. Anyways, uh, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and get straight into the podcast. But yeah, no. Um, so this is, yeah, our new place and all that. We're probably going to start recording in here. Uh, I need to find out where we can hang that Gibby flag, because I really want it in the podcast. You should do it right here. I should probably do it over here, huh? Right here. Right here. Or over there, too, huh? Something oh, like yeah, that. You yeah, can record, like, yeah. that way. Something like that. I, I, I got to figure it out. But oh, yeah. also, guys, uh, we actually all started our first week of college, right? Except for yes, Cynthia. I didn't. Yeah, yeah. How many we more weeks you got? I have three more weeks left. You excited? Nothing. For school? For school. Okay, I was when it was, like, hybrid and, like, we were actually going back to campus. Oh, are you only, in per are, are only online now? Yeah, it all switched. Yeah, same so here. So I'm kind of bummed. That sucks. Wait, why? <laughs> Wait, why? Because you go to Cal State Long Beach, right? Yeah, but why? then all their psychology students or most psychology students are doing all online. Are you a psych, psych student? Yes, you're gonna sir. Be, you're going to be a therapist? I'm trying to be a high school teacher, so. You're trying to be a high oh, school yeah. teacher? What, what do you, you want to teach? Um, Psychology. There's psychology in high school? Yeah, yeah there's exactly. Mr. Avin. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you say yeah. it like that? Everybody Wait, I, I know who that is. Yeah, Why does so everyone fine. love that man? Because he's, he's fine. fine. He literally looks like the average 40-year-old white man. No, no, no. No, but the fact that he's like your teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what were you saying? I'm sorry, what were you saying? The fact that... The fact that he's like your teacher, you know? Oh, that just makes him way they, sexier. The going to start studying to become a teacher. He's like, huh? <laughs> No, but history teachers, though, I don't know why. They hit different. Ew, no. And it's always the history teachers. I can agree with that. Mr. Gray mm. was pretty hot. Okay. Mr. Gray. You That's think you can deal with high school students? Honestly? Like, seriously. I think I can. I think I'd be a cool-ass teacher. If you had someone like me and Luke in your class, you think that you'd be able to teach? Hell yeah. Dude, we're not even bad students. I know. Like, like, really? you, didn't even bring, you didn't bring a notepad to the first day of school when the man was lecturing. The first class. And you, this man... Okay, wait, wait. I just, just Hold on. Just a little background real quick. So me and Luke have a class together, right? And this class is on the fifth floor. And we didn't take the elevator because it, there was just way too many people. So we took the stairs. So we, we, we go up five floors. We get in the classroom. Luke's sitting right fucking behind me. And the whole time in class, Luke's breathing through his mask like... <sighs> Like right fucking behind me, bro, and it's really hard for me to focus. And then like, and then like an hour into the class, where the class is an hour fifteen, an hour into the class, Luke, Luke comes up in my ear and he's like, "Hey, bro, do you have any paper?" <laughs> and I've taken a full sheet of notes. I've taken a full sheet of notes, bro. And this man's like, "Hey, do you have any paper, what bro?" What were you doing? Oh, <laughs> I was. He was falling asleep. No, I wasn't, bro. We were literally talking about philosophy. Like I was literally what? listening. What do you remember? What do you remember from the class? Um, you know, just the, um the difference between uh. So Socrates, you know, he uh No 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 the difference between him and who else? Who was the other person? What was his name? I don't know how to say his name. You you something? Euphoria? We'll call him Euphoria. <laughs> yeah, there is Okay, all I'm saying is philosophy, that class makes no sense. Because you were asleep for half No, of it. no, it's it's literally <laughs> it's literally just saying re regular stuff and just acting like it's it's fancy. You know what Fabris was gonna say? Hold on, I'll let you wait, I'll let you chat in real quick. You know what Fabris literally asked me? He's like he's like, you know when you were just like you, you something, he's like eucalyptus. <laughs> Isn't that a philosopher? No, it's it's 
Okay. It's Youth the Fro. It's Youth yeah. the Fro. But anyways, hold on. Oh. What? I feel like a lot of people think I'm a I'm a bad student. Or like I'm a dumbass. You didn't bring a pen, paper, or a notepad. It's the, the first, first week. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you don't need it. Yeah, it's the okay. first week. And if you do, crazy, yeah. yeah, it's plotting. Okay, it's like I'm you can ask a girl like, "Oh, can I get a paper?" I just, paper I just got pencil. notebook, a notebook today. Okay, we've been to school for how many days, Luke? Three. That's that's dude. That's better than some people. People that, are gonna stop going to school. Watch. That's true. That's true. Including me. Wait, Cindy, were you about to say something about philosophy when Luke was saying that philosophy isn't? No, he he said it doesn't make any sense, and I said because he was half asleep for. I was falling uh, asleep in the class. I'm not going to lie. Hey, you look like a woman from behind when you <laughs> see your hair. Because, dude, it's just like, it's all, it, it's when it's not like poofed up, it's just like down to your shoulders. Oh, I'm yeah. like, wait, swear? I was like half asleep. I'm like, Ooh, who's this pretty lady in front oh of me? <laughs> then I saw you with the camera. How, like, does, how does my ass look from the back? All right. Yeah. So how's your guys' uh, school going? Have you started? Been, yeah. But like all my classes are online so i wouldn't be able to handle another semester a year uh i would take off yeah no, yeah i, I, I would take it. i would have to take the semester off or the year off i'm not i'm keeping it yeah. above with yeah. you i just i couldn't focus Fuck. like the past covid like year or whatever that we've been in i literally had the worst grades because i just couldn't fucking focus bro i tried cheating and it didn't even work wait didn't you get <laughs> to usc though yeah but that was after the first year of uh fullerton college oh wait so, what happened to that though so basically when i first went to fullerton college like the junior college i just grinded my ass off like i grinded like in school and everything like that but i applied to go to usc for that first year after that first year right yeah so i got straight a's my first year at the junior college and then i got accepted into usc but after that the second year because i want to do another year because i knew everything was going to be online i yeah. then reapplied to usc and they actually denied me the second year yeah. your admission doesn't stand Nope. They, I asked my counselor. She was like, oh, can, it's called like deferring. Like, yeah. Can you defer so that your yeah. application works the whatever the next year or something like that? Mm-hmm. And she was like, uh, unless you have like a specific case on why you can't go to USC this year, oh. you cannot defer. So I couldn't defer. And then I tried reapply, reapplying as like a new student so, and they denied me. So you didn't know all this? <laughs> like you didn't know all this before you decided to skip that year? No, it was like, I, well, because like when they, when I got accepted, I got accepted like the, what? What? <laughs> this is funny. What? Sorry. What? Nothing. <laughs> Wait, what? This is funny. It was funny. You said he was funny, funny gal. Me? Yeah. What did I do? <laughs> it's just like, you fucking know. Like. <laughs> no, that's what my mom fucking told me too. That's what my mom told me too. Cause no, yeah, because you kind of fucked up. Like, <laughs> Dude, I, I couldn't <laughs> focus. That, that's what happened because then we went all online. But yeah. Nick, okay, oh, yeah, okay, okay. See, so. if yeah. I had an acceptance to USC, I would have made damn sure that that would have stood like the next semester. Yeah, yeah. That's I, I don't know. After after COVID hit and we were all online, I, just, I didn't want to go anymore. I don't blame you, but bro. But wasn't it like part of it like was money too? Yeah, plus the money. Plus, yeah, like, my parents yeah. told me that they didn't uh they weren't paying for all of it and then i just i lacked the motivation to like even try to get into usc anymore i was just i was done fucking classes online like it's hard bro and i what i hate is like how like some parents or teachers like don't understand that it's just it's hard to focus no it is when you're listening to someone over the laptop bro it's so ass yeah we talked about that before on the podcast how like like People don't understand how much it sucks. Yeah, spe- yeah, yeah especially yeah. being a student. Even if you want to learn, like even if you got a goal, it's just like I was falling asleep in all my classes, bro. Mm-hmm. It was bad. But anyways, that is not the point of the podcast. We're gonna keep it moving, unless anyone else got anything else to add. <laughs> all right. So tonight we are going to be talking specifically about the honeymoon phase in relationships. Now, uh, just to put everything in perspective, I've never been in a relationship. Raise your hand if you've been in a, in a serious relationship. That is Madhu, Fabris, and Cynthia, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently me and Luke are in the same boat. Me and Luke have not experienced love yet. Uh, any single yeah. ladies? Never mind, I was gonna say something really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Come over to the crib. <laughs> huh. I got a free room. Fabris hasn't moved in yet. It, I'm really lonely, please. Anyways, um, so the honeymoon phase. So, uh, does everyone believe that the honeymoon phase is real? Of course, yeah. 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 Like it's it, well, well, yeah, like okay, no, bro. No you gotta, you gotta tell me. I've never been in a relationship, so I don't know how like the honeymoon phase works. You get what I'm saying? So you guys all believe that that's a real thing? Yeah. Yeah. So what? Can someone describe to me what the honeymoon phase is specifically? Okay. Um, for me, I think it's like when you don't really like see the red flags or like anything bad about the person you know because you're so like i guess like in love because it's all new and everything 
and it's fun. So like you just like ignore all the bad things about the person, and it's just like there's no worries for me. Do like, you during the do you notice the bad things though, and you just put it aside, or do you not even notice the bad things in the honeymoon phase? Yeah, I feel like it's like you like note it, but you're like oh whatever, you know. But like, it, oh. like everything else is better, you know. Out the window, so you kind of like, ignore it. Yeah, it like it the honeymoon phase ends when. I feel like you realize it like too many times. The yeah, bad, like, the bad the, things that yeah. person does. Like it was like the last straw, and you're like, "Fuck!" And then it just like keeps getting worse and worse from there because yeah. it like they Wait. don't change. Or okay, yeah. hold on, I'm gonna come back to that. Do you have I your agree. own personal? I agree definition? with Marty. Like, yes, yeah. you notice like, or you don't notice the things that like go wrong in your relationship because like, you're like, I wouldn't say in love yet. It's so more like it's new. It's yeah, infatuated. Yeah. Infatuated. Yeah. That's the word. Yeah. yeah. So like, you're just like so into it. It's new. You're getting comfortable with the person. You're just, you just having you you just time with them. Yeah, you're just focusing, focusing straight on just having fun. Yeah. You don't notice everything that's like a red flag in your relationship. So is it like you're not noticing like everything wrong with this person? Or just like the bad things that come with this person? You got you know what I mean? You, or don't, is it you don't have issues. Like During the honeymoon like there's, phase, there's, 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 there's no yeah. issues. It's just fun. Yeah. It's just happiness. <laughs> yeah. Wait, bliss. how long does it last though? So that's like, what I was gonna yeah, ask. So oh. like, do you guys know or even remember like how long it lasted yeah, for like, y'all? Yeah. Yeah. It's always like four, four three, months, three, four, three, four months. I feel like. Damn, that's pretty. Long. Then you're like, damn, I'm really oh stuck with this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talk about it well, know. okay, so like, the thing with like the honeymoon phase, I feel like for everyone it's different. True. Like, I feel like it could happen for two years. Oh, like you it just up? like yeah because there's I a lot that. after talking to a lot of people like that are in relationships for a long time like people will say like oh yeah we've never had problems we've been dating for two years then all of a sudden problems yeah. start happening and yeah. they're like oh yeah like, oh so you can start that say, still being in the honeymoon yeah phase it's the honeymoon anyway. phase it's like denial it's no just like fights. oh we're just having fun yeah like yeah. don't argue i don't know how long the honeymoon phase is for me I, exactly I, what would you say if you it, it, you don't need to an answer, though. I'm trying to think. Okay, okay, like, okay. You can take your time. Take your time. <laughs> Does someone want to talk first, and then like I'll, <laughs> I'll get back to I it? Let me think. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think it like really depends on like the person you're with, because I would say like my first relationship it lasted longer than my second, like the honeymoon phase for sure. Yeah. I really think it like depends on the person. Mm-hmm. I I feel like it's bad for a relationship though because everything's so sweet and amazing and then when shit hits the fan like you yeah. don't know how to cope with it or like you know like you have your first problem you're like oh shit like we gotta figure this out you know what i mean so yeah that's what like a healthy relationship is like i'd rather just be fighting together. from the beginning yeah. you know no, no i'm just kidding i'm just kidding oh what no <laughs> the honeymoon phase is very important I'm like i think important it, yeah. Yeah. yeah why so like okay you learn how to like how much do you have like good memories and you learn to like to love that person. So once you like <laughs> have a problem with that person, you can like figure it out. But isn't that like you want to f- work on it? Is isn't that bad though? Because then you're just remembering back to old times. I get where you're yeah, saying. Yeah, and then that, now yeah, your current, now, your current now, relationships yeah. is like that's, wow. It's it, that's it's called something, or it's like a thing when you just. Yeah, I know what you mean. You know what I mean? Yeah, like I it's know, something I where know. you just keep looking back at the old times. Yeah, like, you're not oh, you're not supposed to hold on to the old saying. memories because they're memories. They're not that's not what's actually happening exactly. now. Exactly. So what you just said with is that like contradicting what you I, said? No, I disagree with that. You disagree why? Yeah. Because why, like, why do I want to be with someone you, who's never going to be able to recreate the memories that we had? Okay, cuz you've learned to love this person, right? Yeah. So like I feel like you're trying to work on the problems because you love this person. If that happened before the honeymoon phase, you'd just be like, "Oh yeah, it's just straight problems." Like never fun times, it's always problems. See, that's the. So you sorry, I'm so sorry, bro. I'm so sorry. So you're saying sorry, you're saying, you're saying that you're trying to work through the problems because you want to get back to a point where it was like the honeymoon. Yeah, phase. and even yeah. if you don't, you guys don't get back together. I feel like you, it's like a learning experience because we're dating at like now to like find a life partner. So you're trying to figure out like what things I like, what things I don't like. Like there's, it's all a process. It's it's human nature. So, can the honeymoon phase like reoccur? Ever? Like for the people who have been in a relationship, has that like maybe maybe this time though it's only for like a week or like two weeks where the honeymoon phase? Yeah. Yeah. After. Yeah. after what, you, is that? Was that yeah. like? Is that like? Like re uh, the like what do you call it? like re sparking the relationship like what is that? Yeah, after you like make up from an argument, it's mm-hmm. always like that for like two weeks, mm-hmm. and, and then you get into another fight. Done. Yeah. 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 See, right? Wait, did you want to say something? 
No, I ain't got shit to say. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought you wanted to say something. Listening. It, see, so right now it just it sounds like I'm not gonna lie, man. Like I said, I haven't been in a relationship. It sounds like relationships are shitty as fuck. Why do I wanna why would I wanna be with someone if the honeymoon phase only lasts for a short time and then we gotta fight uh, about well, some shit? Because during that time it's fucking amazing. Like But that's not worth yeah. it. Why do I wanna you know, be how would you know? That's true. Well, I wouldn't know if it's worth it or not. What were you gonna say? Uh, Nick, I know damn well you're gonna find a girl and you're gonna be like, oh my god. Oh my god, I love her so you much. You want me to keep it a buck yeah. with you? When I find a girl, all this is getting shut down. I'm deleting my YouTube page. Hell day. yeah, oh, as you everything's should. Going, everything's going away. Um, I'm not even going to notice you. What? I'm kicking you out the house. I'm kicking <laughs> you out this You're apartment. one of those guys? Yeah. I'm no. lo- all of you guys are getting blocked. That's, That's what, what I'm trying to be on. That happens to everyone. Yeah, I, all I, guys. Okay, and girls, to be honest, like we be on that shit too. Yeah, everyone's getting blocked. Yeah. Never gonna Nick, see anyone for again. you to say that you're gonna just shut this down, it's gone. Yeah, that's like this is all to just fans, to find bro. my girlfriend and my future wife. This is Damn. it. Damn. Nick's from it. the future. He's <laughs> like <laughs> after this, he's this this podcast, the only way he finds a wife. This podcast is just gonna be me and her. How fucking all boring. All of getting left behind. <laughs> that's it. We're what are you guys gonna talk about? How short your kids are gonna be? You gotta find like a six foot woman. To make See, that was so unnecessary, man. That, uh, was, yeah. so yeah, unnecessary. I, that was really funny. That was, <laughs> unnec- that that was, was unnecessary funny. as fuck. Okay. No, hey, you know what's unnecessary? Hey, 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 hey. You're, you're, you're in my apartment, bro. I you know, can kick you out. You know what's unnecessary? But you pulled out the camera today at school. <laughs> <laughs> you embarrassed the shit out of me. You know, Wait, little side check. Real, little, <laughs> little side check. I was at, we were at school today, and I carry my camera bag around me everywhere because you don't know what's going to happen. Like, something fucking super interesting could happen, right? Aliens could come down, you know? I could yeah. meet fucking Barack Obama. Uh-huh. But um, <laughs> fucking Luke sees you with the camera bag, and we're just chilling in the middle of, like, this, like, green park area. And Luke's like, bro, if you pull out the camera here on campus, I'm going to be so embarrassed, bro. Like, he was like, I'm going to be embarrassed, and I'm going to be embarrassed for you, bro. Don't pull that camera out. So of course, it's like a green light for of, Nick. Of course, I had to pull the camera out, right? So I pulled the camera out and I started recording him. And he, this motherfucker starts like running away from me, bro. And he started chasing me, and it made it worse. <laughs> like it's like it we're literally walking through this thing, and everyone's going to class like around us. And of course, I have to chase him. Like I can't not chase him, right? Yeah, yeah. So no, yeah. I'm yeah. Chase it. Yeah. Looks like looks like Nick, Nick. Put the camera away. Nick, please put the camera away. And someone sees us, <laughs> and they're like, they're like, Nick. Nick! And Luke's like, Nick, you're catching your attention. You're grabbing attention, Nick. We gotta go. We gotta go. <laughs> well, bro, like, it's fine if you're just recording me. We're standing there. But when when I'm, you're sprinting after me and, like, these studious college kids are getting ready you for their class. You caused that, though. You no, I, and Nick was you like, caused it. <laughs> it's like, I was like, you, Bigfoot. You know that when you say you don't want something done, I have to do that thing. I know. It's I just know all my something. toes licked. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, we can cut that out, please. <laughs> Did you, did you get the black toe removed? Are you barefoot in my house right now? I have a rule where you and Austin can't be barefoot in my house. My feet have not touched the ground the whole time I'm here. That's totally fine with me. Anyways, uh, uh, reeling it back in. So, regarding the honeymoon phase again, why why stay in a relationship if the honeymoon phase is over? Like, like okay, wait, wait. Just wait. Let me back that up. Is the honeymoon phase the peak of any relationship? No. 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 I feel like there's, like, that honeymoon phase... And then like that arguing phase and like somewhere like you fall madly in love and like you know have you all been through that um yeah at least that yeah, process or something where you just much like but then like you know how you first you asked like why would you stay in a relationship if the honeymoon phase is gonna end so early yeah i feel like that turns into like you kind of like developing love for them in a way like and then but like that's different from the honeymoon phase do you guys know what i mean like yeah, it's just like love better. like but you like genuinely like over start time. caring exactly. yeah over time exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. genuinely start caring like for the person partner. and then like it's like different then it's not it's like different than a honeymoon phase so like you don't want you want to stay with that person because like you care about them like that's your person that's like yeah, your exactly. rock and like you like <laughs> develop like an actual <laughs> relationship you call that's rock. That's, so, that's wait, so, so, so so it's what Fabri- it's what Fabri said earlier so it's like in the honeymoon phase you're not in love with someone yeah, yeah. you're just it's more infatuation, infatuation. Yeah. 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 that was my bad I should have said that and then it's love afterwards yeah so that's all oh. it's because that you love the person if you want to stay yeah. with that person yeah it's not love if you're like it don't oh, sound now that bad, it's, now it it's starting to get hard. Now it's starting to make sense. Now it's starting to make sense. <laughs> Seems pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could get that pretty soon. Look, what are you? Uh, what are you doing tomorrow? You wanna go to dinner? No, I would not date you. You know, you and me have it like eaten one on one. Why is that? Really? Because we're not compatible. Our signs. <laughs> what are um, your signs? Wait, really? You guys um, never gone like just. Water sign. What's um, your water sign? 
Well, well no, well, food? it's because it's because it? Nick only goes to the three restaurants. <laughs> oh yeah, and I can't. Uh, like, can I name them? What do you mean? Oh yeah, In and Out, <laughs> Islands, Chick Fil A. Oh, there more. we go. One more during lunch. Um, during lunch, fuck. What? Sandwich. <laughs> Oh, Subway! <laughs> like, yeah, so I like, just, know this. Nick hits me up and like, just yeah. ham. Oh, no, I switched it up. And mayo. I switched it up. And bread. I switched it up. It. I switched it up. That's I switched nasty. it up. Well, Nick I will be switched like, it up. I switched it up. I'll, I won't hit you, even hit you up to eat, which sucks. Like, I got a tub of mayo in the fridge. Just a little, like, tub of so Oh, <laughs> Like, Daniel, I can hit up Daniel all the time. Like, let's go eat. Nah, and we'll go I've somewhere. been trying to try new things, bro. Well, Nick, I've been trying for three years, and then when I see you go do it with somebody else, it fucking pisses me off. You got a point. Okay, no, but I'm gonna give you props because like you told me you tried octopus at Korean barbecue. So was it good? No, not Korean barbecue. I tried it somewhere else. Oh, oh I got you kaku. Hey. Huh? No, I tried it like the seafood place. Huh. It wasn't you bad. A, you went to a seafood place? Yeah, can you believe that? Like, Are you can good, you not bro? Ignore me? Wow. Sorry, what'd you say? Was it good? Yeah, I liked it. Okay. Hey, I don't know, but, but I don't know if I'd order it as like a main <laughs> dish. We just told him it was octopus. What's, yeah. It was chicken. Wait, what's <laughs> a, what's what's ca- what's calamari? It's octopus. It's fried, octopus. fried octopus. Fried octopus. So okay, so that's good. what I had. That shit was yeah, calamari. Good. Yeah, I mean, okay. of course you yeah. like calamari. Dude, that's that shit was different calamari. though. I thought you meant like everybody like, likes awesome. calamari. Yeah. 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 If you don't like calamari, do you remember? Do you remember in eighth? grade when you threw a birthday party and we went to korean barbecue not eighth grade. oh it was like sophomore yeah. year i hope it wasn't eighth grade i don't know no, no, i think grade. it was freshman year do you remember we went to korean barbecue and yeah. some motherfucker made me eat fried octopus <laughs> or not fried octopus they <laughs> it cooked was it. cooked <laughs> octopus that shit was like squirming in my mouth no, you did no it wasn't that was good nick I you did didn't like even that. try it that's a lie I, I remember you backed out. You and Austin were like, nah. <laughs> like, I thought Austin would try it, but he did it. Because it was still moving. It was moving when you, like, grilled it, but then after, it wasn't moving. It was moving the whole fucking time. <laughs> Have you tried octopus? <laughs> Hell yeah. You like it? Yeah, it's pretty fun. I, I try everything. Yeah, like, Daniel's a connoisseur. Will take me in Daniel's a good anywhere, and I'll try food. Bro, we go to ja- I love Japanese barbecue. Nick, Nick, it's that's, literally beef yeah. and chicken. Like you know, like everybody that's, likes that's that. Not, yeah, it's not trying like. What the fuck is trying new things then? Nick, I, there, there is literally we had sushi and you wouldn't eat it. Okay, I fucking hate seafood. You know that, Bruh, How? That's Get, crazy. Okay, but it's not even like, like seafood. I understand, yeah. but even like going to like, like an Italian restaurant or like, or no, I go or no you, the bippos? Oh, wait, no, what's it called? That's not a, that's not a good Italian restaurant. Nick's that's like the, yeah, the British shit. name. <laughs> Olive Garden. Garden. Olive Garden. Garden. Yeah, my bad. I'm, I'm excited for you guys to move in, bro. I want to be here a lot. Can Dude, I get a key? No. You keep asking, bro. Like, I, <coughs> like, if you text me, like, I'll like, leave no, like, key. No, I'll leave the well, key for like, like, you. Like, 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 if I have class and after I want to come here and it's like, right, you, you do that work. for me. Remember? Of yeah. course, I'm gonna do that for you. You in class longer than I am. Dude, I mean, just give him a key. I ain't giving Luke a key. If I give Luke a, if I give Luke a key, he's gonna abuse it. No, I won't. Not bro. with drugs. Not with anything like that. I'm gonna catch him jacking off in the kitchen. Bro, okay, okay. Yeah. Not, not like that. <laughs> like, he put the, the headphones on because he's re- he's recording this. He's shit. like content. Nah, honestly, the only time I come here, <laughs> I that. I'd probably come here to use the restroom, take a nice deuce, and then probably just chill. Your house is right down the street. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, like, there's a reason. I gotta. It's different, right? Well, yeah, bro. So, I told my mom I want to move out. And she's like, "We'll see, honey." Nah. So, um, <laughs> like the past. So, uh, not the past couple of days. Yesterday, I I've been so I've been living here by myself for the past 24 hours. I fucking love it. Love it. I really don't want you to move in. I. It's just quiet and peace. I don't have to. No, I'm just kidding. Please move in. I I got really lonely. You're gonna get night. lonely, bro. Yeah, I got really lonely last night. I'm not. Like, I thought I was seeing stuff. Like you're gonna get. I'm not gonna lie. I thought I was seeing stuff. Well, you're in like a like. It's not creepy over here. No hell no. But you do hear people passing by. Yeah. At night. I kind of like, but like yeah. my neighborhood is scary at night. I feel like. You, you live, live in, in the, the most suburbs, suburban bro. neighborhood the in suburbs. the entire world. There's some shit like going, like, hey, like by the trail of my you, house. Our fucking English teacher literally lives across the street from you. You live in the most suburban neighborhood in the entire world. I don't know. You know, who, you know whose house and neighborhood creeps me out at night? Alana. That shit. That is creepy. again one of the most no, suburban but it's neighborhoods. Cre- it's creepy because I'm suburbs. Dude, can't but have if you think vibes. about it, where do all the horror movies take place? In like big ass suburban. Where do people get shot? In the ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what the fuck would, you talking about. I would rather get shot <laughs> than murdered by with like a weapon. Yeah. Same. Like like a non like a non gun. Like I'd rather no. get shot than like stabbed to death. Or strangled. I think okay, I, I can, okay, I can yeah, stop a knife about. attack, but I don't think I, I, I can't stop it. No, gunshot. you can you can dodge a bullet. 
Because when you're in the moment and you're getting shot, <laughs> you're, people people you're can't aim. Yeah, I know so that. So you can dodge a bullet, but a knife attack, that's you straight to the dome. <laughs> no, like... You can't dodge it, a knife you know attack. how hard it is to stab someone? What if I'm the rock and I have a knife? You think you stop me? Okay, that's exactly. Different. Is the rock trying to exactly. stab me? You're always bringing up the rock. Wait, are you saying you can get stabbed in a sub- suburban neighborhood? That's what they're saying. No, dude, you know someone got sliced with a machete in your Belinda? What is that the? suburban? That's where I live. Your Belinda. You live in your Belinda? That's why I'm moving. I used to live there. Or That's I still really? live there. My parents live there, yeah. Where do you live? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, where? What, in what area? Vicinity? All right. Um, honeymoon phase. So, how many relationships have you been in? Two. How many? Two. How many? Like, two. Two? Like, real? like serious. Two, yeah. Damn. Two. It's a lucky number. That is a lucky <laughs> number. Okay. Do you guys... Like the same age. Like, for, bo- wait, wait, for both the relationships, did you guys know when the honeymoon phase was over? Or did you kind of yeah. think back and you were like, oh, this is where it yeah, ended? Yeah, I think at some point I was like, damn, it's kind of going downhill. What did you, like, you think about in that moment when ah. you kind of like realized that it was going downhill from where it started or something like that? Like thinking of breaking up with them. And what made you stay? Thinking back to the good times? <sighs> yeah. Damn. And like thinking of like like fixing it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm like different reasons. Yeah. I, but I, I think like I wanted to like work on it. Yeah. That's like the mature thing to do is like you're trying to figure out how to learn how to like handle problems in relationships cuz like when you're married like if that's what you want to do like you want to yeah, you want to be able to like know like okay, we've gone through this so we can get through this. So like a, a straight honeymoon phase can last forever. But like when problems come up, that's like where you like your love gets tested, I feel like. Mm-hmm. Do you think the honeymoon phase can last forever? I hope so. (laughs) (laughs) I feel like, okay, so technically no, no, but I feel like even after that, you can figure out problems and you guys can be just as happy as you were in the honeymoon phase, but Mm -hmm. it's just like now you guys are starting to like nitpicking like what people do like in relationships. Like, like, okay, look, the honeymoon phase is labeled as pure enjoyment, right? No fights, not recognizing anything that they're doing bad at this if this man literally leaves dirty socks on the fucking kitchen counter, you probably won't get mad because you're in the honeymoon phase, right? That's just, just boys. <laughs> you get you, that's, right? That's what you think. Well, just think about it. Just think about it. Just think about it. You know think, why? Because Nick did it before. Right. He's like, <laughs> be that he's like fuck. <laughs> <laughs> just, just think back. When you were in the honeymoon phase, if this man left dirty socks on the k- kitchen counter, would you really give a fuck? Or the woman? Would you really give a fuck? No. I, oh, yeah. I'd like take I, notice. Probably, you'd probably be like, oh yeah, my god, you're so I I yeah, yeah, you still wouldn't have, you still wouldn't say though, like what the fuck is your issue? Like okay, right yeah. that, that's I'll, not I'll, issue okay. for me. Okay, so I mean, so trip. that's that's the honeymoon phase, right? Like label. Like they could literally do not not something crazy, like they can't cheat in the honeymoon phase and you leave it alone. Like yeah. I'm not talking about anything crazy. But I'm talking about like well, when that's it comes where it to, ends. Like, what do you mean? If someone cheats in a honeymoon no, facts. phase, that's, like, that's facts. That's, facts, facts, that's, that's the why end of it. I, I, that was way too extreme. But like, they could do like a lot of small things that potentially could piss you off or could get you like angry in a sense. Yeah. But since you're in the honeymoon phase, like none of that matters. You just infatuated with this person. Blah blah blah. You know what's funny? I like I saw a TikTok where a girl was like saying how like she she has an ick for her boyfriend. I hate that word by the way. Cause he kept he kept his hat on during dinner or some shit, and like it was. And after that, she's like, "I'm not in love anymore." That's a thing for girls, though. Ooh, dude, girls have a lot of icks. Yeah, Mm. what's up with that? I hate that word. We talked about it. We talked. No, no, no. no, 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 Go ahead. We we we, we, like briefed over it because I just asked. I asked, "What are your icks?" I didn't ask what the fuck an ick is. Okay, I think this one is a big one. Like a lot of girls have this, but like when you like when they're getting out the car and then they're. <laughs> their butt crack shows. That's such what a dick. Who the fuck shows their butt crack out the? Who the fuck shows <laughs> you <laughs> buy your man a belt, homie? <laughs> never but no wonder you I get the egg. I, I get normal. the egg too. If I saw, I feel like I get the egg too. I know. If, I wouldn't be friends with any of my friends anymore if they <laughs> fucking pulled out the fucking whip we, with their. Butt you know crack. we do. We, we <laughs> throw a little quarter in there. No, like a little bit. You know. You know, I feel oh, like, like the start? it sounds, it sounds Ooh, specific, bro. but it's a universal experience. I'm telling you. I never jumped out my whip with my whole ass crack <laughs> out. Okay, mine for me was... <laughs> <laughs> okay, mine 
it wasn't that specific. No, it, I'm not saying it happened to me, but like, can I explain myself? No, no, that transition was just funny as fuck. Sorry, go ahead, go ahead. No, go but ahead. for I'm, me, I I'm not gonna say who. No, you but like, um, his whole ass crack was out dude, driving the he, car. Um. No, no, it wasn't driving the car though. Like riding a bike. We were we were swimming, and he was getting out the pool. <laughs> uh, and then like, but that's different. And then his whole ass showed, cause like, like as he got out too fast, and then like his whole butt showed, and I was like, damn, I'm turned off. Wait. But then, but what's then it's wrong? Like, what's wait. wrong with so men's asses that so turn so you, you off? Saw his, you saw his ass, and you're like, I don't love this man anymore. <laughs> No, no, no. So how happens when you see him naked? You're just no, like, you're just looking at his butt. You're like, okay, no, it's different during sex though, like, right? <laughs> but like when like it accidentally happens, and that's kind of like embarrassing. I'm gonna start taping my butt crack. <laughs> oh, wait, I have <laughs> seen videos. I've never taken where... off my underwear ever again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fucking put a belt around my underwear, bro, so that bitch don't fall. Um, have you guys ever seen the videos on TikTok? I've seen the hell of videos actually of girls saying like dudes' asses are just fucking weird. <laughs> no, What's you for you, Paige? No, 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 no. I've seen videos and it got mad amount of likes where girls really? like are like, like no. imagine just a dude's bare ass, like naked. <laughs> Cynthia got something to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maru, Maru, Maru. Maru. Yes, Ma- talk imagine, to okay, like you guys are done doing the business, right? And oh, no, <laughs> wait, I know what's coming. <laughs> The waddle? I can't, I can't Are you talking about the waddle? The waddle? <laughs> like, the waddle. Like, after... The waddle. Yes, the waddle. The fuck is the waddle? And we're not even going to say anything. No. What Wait, the I girls know. Know. I need to know this now. I want a girl to fall in love with me. I need the to know The girls this now. know the waddle. What the fuck is the... What the <laughs> fuck is the waddle? I need to know now. I don't want to... I mean, uh, y'all should. I feel like you should. Dude, put me on. Put the I feel like Luke knows. I feel like, I feel Luke, like you've done the waddle? No, Someone's bro. called you out on the No, bro. Key. Sometimes, like, I used to have a fat ass. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, Max. Like, like, wait, wait. Girls Max. love your fat ass, though, bro. Yeah. Dude. Oh, uh, bro. Bro, I, I remember, like, one of the first times I had sex, I looked in the mirror, and I'm like, I was like staring at my shit. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Staring at what shit? Back up. Staring at what shit? <laughs> my ass. And you I'm, were staring at yourself from the back of the and I'm like, damn, I look goofy as fuck. I don't have, any, I don't have no hair, bro. Oh, you bear. I forgot you bear. I look like a baby. Hell. I'm like, I look, I'm like, damn. I look like I just got like a wax or some shit. You do. I'm sorry, dude. I've seen your ass a lot. You're yeah, fucking, same. That, sh- that shit looks like Shut smooth. Up, shit. Dude, smooth. You? Shut the fuck that up. Shit you got a fucking. Oh, that like, shit Hey, what's better? Don't what's better? Me so would, you rather have, would you rather your mans be fucking no hair on the ass or just like a fucking gorilla on the ass? Oh, <laughs> like hairy, like, like hairy as shit or bare. That's a really hard question. You know the right answer. You yeah, know the right the, answer. The, yeah, there's, that's like two extremes. No, yeah, that's doesn't matter. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta take Dude, it. because like, would you rather have Luca Fabris tell me now? Men, <laughs> it bothers me. <laughs> like hairless. I'm not hairless. Okay, I don't know yeah. why they're laughing. <laughs> they think they're talking about me. I'm not hairless. <laughs> I'm not hairless. Put your hair back. Last time Put I your seen you. Okay, okay. The last one. <laughs> it's just my. Look at my legs. I have hair on my legs. Okay, I'm, you, the last you time I seen your ass. Do you have a happy trail? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, you. <laughs> you are hairless, bro. I'm not bro. hairless, bro. Dude, I'm, I'm I remember, Asian. Dude, I remember back no, in. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Real quick. Okay, I, remember, yeah, yeah. I remember back in junior high. Luke used to come up to me. He's like, bro, when the fuck am I going to grow hair on my legs, oh, bro? No. I'm so hairless. My legs shit. used to be like baby. Yeah, like, baby. Yeah. Sorry, what were you going to say, though? Um, I was going to... What was I going to say? Mm-hmm. Talking about hairy ass. Oh, no. I think the reason why I don't like hair, like hairless men is because I have a lot of hair. So, like, it's like, bro, if you're like, if you have less hair than me, like, damn. Yeah, you know honestly, I mean? on your arms? I feel like hair hairiness is not like a factor for me yeah i think so too like, like it doesn't bother me <laughs> <Fuck Damn yeah. laughs> but i yeah. like a fucking you made the extremes yeah. and you look at me bro come on man dab me up bro for the 40 year old men watching this come on 40 year old hairy ass man sorry i'll stop with that and that was funny as fuck though um that was really wait funny. so that's your ick seeing bear a, <laughs> yeah. man, a man's bare ass yeah there's more though like but like what's yours nick okay, wait. Yeah. dude you know what i'm sorry i also saw wait wait I can't think of it like Cynthia has a lot. Take, take Cynthia like, for okay. sure take, has a lot. Time to think about it, but I also heard that like, um, guys actually don't 
really have icks. Like what? Like what the fuck can a girl do where you're just instantly out of love? Or not oh. out of love? No, but it's just like, like, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's a good question. Like, what's guys, like, what's guys a, don't really get icks. Yeah. It's more like red flags. Really? So girls you, get icks. Guys flags. don't get oh, icks. That's so I, interesting. I just want to fall in love. I'm wait, colorblind, like, bro. Wait, genuine <laughs> question. So like you've never oh, ever real, like something like a little act. Like right. I can think of the first oh, one oh, thing. Oh, oh, I got one. I got one. I got what, one. What? If a girl like fucking ate shit in front of me. Oh, like, wait. She tripped and fell. Wait, like, is that a me. universal guy thing? Because my ex told me that too. He said that like <laughs> that was a nick for him. Like when girls fall in front of him. Like <laughs> that's so funny. Like, like if a girl gets hurt in front of me, that's <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me. I, okay, it is. Funny, so but... is definitely eating shit in front of her man. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I think it's so angry. I'm like, why'd you fall? <laughs> get the fuck up. You get angry. Yeah, Loki. Loki. Like, like, get the fuck up. That is. Tell me I'm get wrong, up. though. Like, a girl getting hurt Wait, in front of me. That's so sad. That's okay, but, but what if she, like, plays it off? Because I would for sure play it off. Oh, yeah. You do tuck and roll? Oh, yeah. Like, Can yeah. I say something? Yeah, I'll do a fucking cartwheel. If you tuck and roll, I'm with it. If you do push ups, I'm with it. That's yeah. fine. Wait, Nick, I have a question for you. <laughs> so, like, um, well, my ex said that, like, that's a Nick. Like, a girl falling but like if you play it off well yeah then it's fine okay like okay let's say does it matter let's say you literally hit a bump and you trip and you eat it on your face what the fuck <laughs> are you gonna play off like no i'm gonna like, start laughing my ass off and like and you're gonna be in pain and cry, there's, there's yeah. no way I, I, I i think it's funny See, yeah, i would laugh yeah, and make exactly, sure you're okay exactly. yeah. i'm gonna pick you up and i'm gonna be but I'm, we'd I'm be sorry. laughing I, I would love to comfort you but i'm gonna be Geeking my ass off, <laughs> but that's okay. I I'm feel like yeah, I expect laughing. that's human response. Like See, that's that, funny. Yeah, but that's <laughs> people yeah, getting if, hurt I'm, funny. if I'm in love with her, it's probably be different. I've never been in love, but um, yeah, that's true. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, that's probably like one of the things. But I wouldn't even call that an ick. Hmm. The yeah, okay, there is one ick, but it's not what, like what is it? What, 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 what? All right, let me ask you guys this. Yes. How do you guys order in the drive-through? Does your does your voice get like oh! super high pitched? And do you take a long time? Cause that's like I that bothers me a lot. I just talk normally. I think like I, I never. Normally. Yeah. Okay. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Wait. When guys cough in front of me. Clap in front of me. <laughs> I said cough. Oh, I was like clap. All right. I think I inherited that from my dad. I feel like my dad got heated in drive throughs and was like. I want this. I think that's part of it. He has like it's PTSDs like, like already in yeah. two seconds. <laughs> he's there the type of guy to go to drive through before you get there. He's like, look at the menu. Like, yeah. search it up. Search it up. All right. <laughs> Bro, my fucking dad is like that too. All right. I wasn't <laughs> like that, but I feel like as I get older, I feel like I'm starting to see patterns where I'm like, oh, the drive through starting to bother me. Oh fuck. Okay, but it's like that's okay, your fucking let's ego. say okay, so let's say if I'm like ordering okay. it, if I'm ordering in the drive thru and I like go like, can I get a quesadilla? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, is that a like? Is that a <laughs> like? Yeah. You're telling okay. me that won't bother you if a girl like changes her whole tone <laughs> and talks oh, like wait. she's like ten. I have another question. I'm sorry. I feel like. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold on, like remember, remember, okay. remember that question. Okay? I want to hear Cynthia's. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Were you done talking? Yeah. What, what were you going to say? I have nothing to say. Do you, you have, have an ick? Oh, yeah. yeah. Have you I don't think I have one. Okay. Girls falling in front of me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very interested. You definitely have one. Yeah. Cynthia's like 30 and she doesn't want to say it because yeah. it probably pertains to some of us here. So yeah, you have a lot. I, Mexicans. I feel it. Why, why do you guys think I have so many? I can't even I think know of how you, I, Yeah, I you, feel like something will bother you. Because like, you're a shit uh, talker. Yeah, you are. You're a shit yeah. talker. No, yes, you are. No, yes, you are. You're a shit talker. Oh my God, did you see him do that? <laughs> Someone explain the ick for people that don't know. Like, what's the ick? Um, it's just the cringy. difference between that yeah. and red flag. Yeah, you guys gotta tell me. Is an ick and a red for like, girls? Is an ick and a red flag the same thing? It's not, is it? No, yeah. no definitely no. not. <laughs> a guy's I bare think... ass is a red flag. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's totally different. I see his butt. It's over. <laughs> That's totally different. <laughs> Could you imagine them making like a pros and cons sheet and like the cons are like, I've seen his bare ass. I feel like that. that's like... Okay, it's, but... <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. What were you saying? Ick versus red flag. I think like icks aren't like a deal breaker. Like it's just like little behaviors <laughs> that are like not as... You know what I mean? Like... I Nose hairs. No, like it's like behaviors, oh. like little acts that you do. Like let's say you like you like chew with your mouth open. That's an ick. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like so like, behave, so like, what you said was like mm -hmm. a nick. Okay, or yeah, like, that makes sense. Or like when it's just like you're like cringing. 
Like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good yeah. one. Okay. It's cringy. It's, I feel like it's not as serious. It's just something that specifically bothers you a so lot. You just get like, it, it bothers you more than it should. So a guy, yeah. okay, yeah. Yeah. a guy's a guy's bare ass versus a guy having mommy issues. Cringy versus red flag. Yes, yeah, exactly that. Okay. That makes that sense. Really so like an ache right? doesn't yeah, determine good. like, oh, I don't want to date this guy anymore. It's oh, more like yeah. something that, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Have you guys heard the word chuggy? Nope. So <laughs> my barber <laughs> talks to me about yeah, it. Yeah, that's like ick. Oh, okay. Like, that's so chuggy. Because my barber asked me that. He's like, dude, hey, can I ask you a question? You're young. He's like, my girlfriend asked me like, or she said something about a chuggy. Do you know what that means? <laughs> I was like, no, it, it's not a word. Yeah, wait, I was like, he's just, she's just fucking with you. Yeah. Oh wait, what is it? What so the it's, fuck is it it's like you can say like, oh, like those shorts are so chuggy, or like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to him. Wait, what, what is it? What is it? Just like kind of cool cringy, word. or like I feel like it's like the same thing as it. So uh, if I if I say, a girl eating shit in front of me, that's a chuggy. No, like that was chuggy. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> that like was that's, cringy. That's chuggy. Yeah. Oh, like cringy. Hey. Damn. So. That but but barber. people hate that word too. Nah, she why. said something. I got it. Like, I've never this is it. Urban Dictionary's top definition. Chuggy, the opposite of trendy. Stylish in middle school and high school, but no longer in style. What? Used when someone still follows these out of date trends. This may include. Oh, maybe it's just for like trends then. Nah, but every word means something different. Yeah, I feel like you can have your own definition. Yeah. But so I've <laughs> never heard the word chuggy. <laughs> Look at the Same, that's new to me. Read me a sentence. <laughs> hey, read me a sentence using the word chuggy. My friend told me to change out of my favorite pair of Miss Me jeans because they were chuggy. <laughs> I don't get that. What's that? He's not worried. The next word is milfs. Plural of milf. <laughs> milfs? <laughs> milfs. Milfs. Would it be? Yeah. I did not know that. Nah, know that it's, it's milfs. Oh, There's know. no plural of milf. Urban yeah. Dictionary versus Daniel? I, I it's like know. moose. No, no, no. Okay, but milf is an acronym. You can't have a plural of an acronym. What's, what's the plural of mouse? Mice. 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 Oh, Don't man. what the fuck? I told you just lost. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Read the script. I'm Guys, you know the, the singular of lice is louse? What? Wait, the, the fucking crazy. thing that itches your air? Air. Air? <laughs> yeah. Like lice. <laughs> like one <laughs> is one louse. What's, what about sheep? Is it is sheep? Sheep's a sheep. You right? know the, quest, the answers to these questions. Sheep's a sheep. What about, yeah. oc- what about okay okay real one? What about octopus? Octopus. Octopi. 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 Oh, Nick, are yeah. you serious right now? It's like cacti. cacti, cacti. Well, dude, it's a, this is a second language, so let's all relax. Okay? Wait, Do you think a serious? honey, uh, the honeymoon phase, can be one-sided? Ooh. No. No. Yes. <laughs> no. 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 I think yes. Sh- what? Oh, explain yourself. That's a good ass question. Okay, I'll let you. Or you go first. Wait, no, no. But Luke, you go. I feel like you haven't talked. Well, then what? Well, I mean, like me, when I like talk to girls. Like I'll literally like the f- like, if we hit it off or like we hang out, like I'll literally be obsessed for like, like two months. Damn. And and, 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 and like for me, point. I feel like it's one sided. Mm. I'll be like, oh my god, I'm like all into it. And then if that time if she doesn't reciprocate it, I'm done. Damn. Mm. I feel like that's not the honey. That's yeah, actually maybe I'm not done. I don't know. You haven't been in the honeymoon that can't phase. That qualified then. as the honeymoon. Yeah, phase. the honeymoon I, phase is literally like you guys are both yeah. just like so I, I pure have a question. Bliss. That's the chase. Can can the honeymoon phase? Does the honeymoon phase always have to be like when you've labeled yourself boyfriend and girlfriend, or can the honeymoon phase only? Uh, can the honeymoon phase also happen when y'all are just talking or something like that? Oh, for me, I thought we were talking about like I or like I think it could happen when you're talking, even talking, and then like you're just like, oh, I'm just absolutely infatuated with you. Let's be boyfriend, girlfriend. Yeah. And then it could I go like so. further than that. After okay, wait, well, yeah. 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 It can happen before you become boyfriend. Yeah, but girlfriend. it's yeah. got to be both sides. Yeah, Otherwise, it's not the honeymoon phase. It's just It's just you being infatuated phase. with someone else. Yeah. 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 See, that's a good point because I've definitely been in a loose position before. Yeah. And I thought, I like yeah. looking back, I didn't, I didn't think it was a honeymoon phase, but when you brought it up, I was like, oh, what? Because like, bro, phase? like there's been red flags and I'm just like, Nah, but she's that, the one. That's just you being infatuated with the person. Yeah, that's bro. like, yeah. man, that's honey. Okay, well, I just. Honeymoon is, you guys are both feeling the same way. You guys Damn. both deal with each other's that's shit. That just sounds nice, just, man. You know, you just yeah. like. That just sounds Actually, cool. yeah, you're right. I take back Cuddling, what I said. Stuff like that. Well, wait, what were we going to You were going to say something, right? Because I said that, like, I, like, agreed with Luke, like, or I answered his question. I said, like, only one person can be in the honeymoon phase while the other can't. But, like, I feel like honeymoon phase, like Daniel said, it's just, like, 
both of y'all together. Yeah. Like that's what makes like it rabbits. a honeymoon phase. That's rabbits? true. Because yeah, honeymoon yeah. is like when you're married, you know, like yeah, y'all are going on vacation. Yeah. Oh wait, uh, did, you said you had a question, right? <laughs> oh yeah, but I already asked like, it. When you you know, when <laughs> wait, that's how you know. Uh, it's like, <laughs> I, I have just yeah. a real quick sidetrack question. We'll bring it back on topic because I don't want to lose this because I know I'll lose it. Mm-hmm. Would you guys rather spend a lot of money on a wedding and then like a kind of cheap honeymoon phase or a honeymoon, or would you rather? Uh, do a like a small wedding, just family and friends, and then to go on a big ass honeymoon. That. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because some people are different. Maria. That's a hard question. I don't okay, know. Like, how small is the honeymoon? You literally. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, okay. So it's either you have this giant wedding, wedding of your dreams. Everything is only for the day. Like we talking Disneyland. You, or wait, 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 wait. Like, but you only go to San Francisco for the honeymoon. Oh. Oh. Versus versus you getting married in the courtroom with literally ten people and you gotta go to fucking explore Europe with your man's that I'd rather have a wedding. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna really? lie, I'd rather have a wedding because like like a big ass lit ass wedding. Hell yeah. Like in Hawaii or something. Yeah. And I'd, then you had the money for it. Ideally yeah. I'd, I could do both, but if I had to pick one, I'd do the wedding. I yeah. Think- I can get married anywhere. I think so too. Mm. I think so too. I, I'm, I'd be totally nice. fine with getting married in a fucking yeah, let's, courtroom. I want to travel with my husband. Yeah, like that would be so it's all, much it's fun. It's all about yeah. like the love of your life. Yeah. Like I want to do the great, the but best then, things but then in my again, life with but you. But then again, think about it. Right, think about, right, it. Right. Think about right. it. Think about it though. If you don't do a big wedding, your boys, all your boys probably won't be there. Cause no, no, they're gonna be there. Like no, your yeah. tight ass friends. Yeah. Like, gonna okay. Be there. Oh, see, that's true. Okay. Yeah, like my my homies will come no matter what. Yeah. I could what get, if I, I gave you only in a, a ten- parking lot and y'all would come? Ooh, that's true. Cause all you need is a yeah. priest. Wait, a ten day. Why? Why it will marry me? Why it will marry? Why it will marry you? Why it's why it's what do you call it? I'm uh, still having a wedding. Mister. I was gonna say not great, but I realized that was the wrong word. Sorry. What were you gonna yeah, say? No, what did you say? Still having a wedding. You said you'd rather have the wedding, a big wedding, than a big honeymoon. Yeah. I mean, I'd still have a big wedding, but with this question. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. But I'm saying, I'm saying, if you were given the option, uh, let's say you, let's say ex- total extreme, you were given the option of a million. Yeah, I already dollars. answered it. Oh, uh, what? A million dollars. You were given a million dollars, but they said you can either only spend a thousand dollars on the wedding or a thousand dollars on the honeymoon. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm going to use it on my trip. That's $999,000. Yeah. I'm going to go everywhere. That's di- I could literally have yeah. a fucking wedding in every country. No, no, no. But, no, 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 but it can't. But the wedding only once. once. The wedding only once. once. It can only... You can't get married once. more more than okay, once. I can I'm have a fucking genie. I'm I can a have a genie. I can have a thirty day wedding every day. No, we're I'm fucking fu- turning no, 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 no. it up. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, with your wife, but you can't invite anyone. Okay, else. yeah, because you're why, f- bro? I just fucking told you, bro. I'm a no, fucking that, genie for his wedding. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I said you're only. I'll either. throw I'll throw a month long wedding. I don't give a fuck. Okay, so you no. paying or so you paying everyone to show up? I got a million dollars. Luke, those are the rules. Man, fuck your rules. Okay, I'm having a wedding. Fuck your rules. I'm a fucking genie. No wedding, no honeymoon for you. Yeah. Man, fire. Fuck that. I'm not getting married. Let's get married. Let's just move in together. We don't need to get married. Damn. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> just like that. Damn, back on the streets. <laughs> Wait, okay, okay. No, 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 answer my question. Million dollars. Okay, fine. That was really facetious. Yeah. Let's do million dollars still, but you get Wait, I wanna 10, hear, I wanna hear Maru and Luke's You just like, made it easier. Explanation. Perspective? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So cuz you, you said wedding, ten, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm not going to lie. You guys kind of like convince me <laughs> like because like if you think about it i'd rather yeah you're right like i'd rather travel to like so many different countries for my li- yeah you could literally go see for my honeymoon day. then have like one because you said only one day then have it only can one day only be one like day. your marriage just your day. wedding day just your wedding day but yeah. you got to think about it it can also be a wedding in hawaii with everyone you love with though, everyone too. there right you get what i mean you know some weddings are like really long though like indian weddings no but this one's just one day oh okay this one's just one day then yeah i'm not gonna lie i think honeymoon lucas i take back my wedding? answer because it, it could it, be if the you, if you do the one life. where it's like only a thousand dollars obviously i'm gonna do the 10, obviously i'm gonna do the ten thousand Obviously, I'm gonna do the honeymoon, but if it's just like without the like that specific amount of money, I'm doing the wedding. Hundred thousand. Nick, for, for Nick wait, even with a hundred thousand dollar wedding, I still have nine hundred thousand dollars to spend on my trip. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's true. I, 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 I feel like, like, just make I feel like you're not like, like I could have like the wedding isn't just a wedding though. I feel like you gotta include the bridal shower. 
That's true. Like, all that stuff, like the bachelor party, that has to, yeah, like that all Dang includes the wedding. <laughs> we would so have a like, lit okay. ass bachelor party with nine hundred ninety nine thousand dollars, bro. I'd rather spend that with my my one than like. You're a simp. You're, okay, you're I'm getting fucking, married. You're a fucking simp. Don't ever speak to me ever again. <laughs> you don't agree, Luke? That'd be you rather spend it with the boys than the no. one? Hell yeah. Hell no. You don't know how much you're. Uh, wait. I, not rather do it with my girl. Exactly. Me and my me and my woman could literally get married in Vegas. <laughs> you gotta find her first. Wait, so are we all agree? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> wait, yeah. We <laughs> convince everyone just like that. Listen, everyone who says honeymoon, raise their hand. Wait, ex- expensive honeymoon. Expensive honeymoon versus cheap wedding. Wow, Luke, really? You want <laughs> you want to spend it with wedding? your boys instead of your girl? It's just one day. No, I was, no, I was just having a wedding. That's fine. That's fine. That's wait, fine. It's family because it kills your family. Yeah. Uh, Cause I, 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 if if you do the wedding, I'm not gonna be able to invite my uncles, my uncle, my <laughs> aunts. It's literally just gonna be your parents, bro. Yes, you can. Your Why parents can I invite girl, them? That's it? I don't All right, know. This is the last. They can show. Yeah, this is the last. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. That's that's it. Okay, okay. wait. Okay, it's been well, a while. We're going on for like an hour now, guys. Does yeah, anyone okay. does anyone else want to answer like the anything about the honeymoon phase at all? Because what where do we leave off at? We left off at like uh, the honeymoon phase if it could happen, where it's one sided, right? That's and we all agree that it can't, that's right? A negative. The honeymoon phase only happens when both of y'all are like infatuated with each other, not love, but y'all just. Y'all want to spend as most time as possible, as much time as possible with each other. Yeah. Right? But, okay, so then last question. So, when it comes to the honeymoon phase, mm-hmm. you're saying that y'all want to stay with someone after the honeymoon phase finishes because you want to find out if it'll happen again? Like, just just wrap it up for me. Why, okay. why do you stay after the honeymoon phase? Like, like why? obviously... The spark dies in any relationship. Yeah. So why stay with someone when that happens? So if you broke up every single time, how are you gonna ever okay. get married or stay? Or if have you're a boy? okay, wait, hold up, hold up, Luke. If you're on the come down of a relationship, you've been on a peak. You like you think you're in love with this person, and then all of a sudden y'all start fighting. You're pissed off every day. You're sad. You're mad. Whatever is, would you still want to stick around with that person? Like it just in your personal opinion, you haven't been in a relationship yet, bro. In my opinion, I wouldn't. I don't know. I don't think arguing and fighting is that bad. It's part of every relationship. Whether but it's like whether it's like friends, my mom, my dad. Like, I fight with my mom. It's not like that's I'm true. done with you. See, that's, that's different true. with my mom. But like, <laughs> what about a friend? Oh. A friend, a friend, a friend. It depends. It's all it's all relative. Like if they okay, do some crazy shit. It sh- ends when you can't work past it. Yeah. But period. how do you how do you know how do you, like know, how do you know like when you can't like, work past it though? It's like. It's not worth it. Like, how much you love them is not worth all the, like, fighting and arguing and, like, insecurities and all that shit. Like, yeah. it's not worth it. You know? I feel like at some point, like, okay, so after the honeymoon phase, like, at, at that point, you're, like, trying to grow with your partner. Mm-hmm. And it's, like, you're trying to learn uh, from, like, okay, let, let's let's deal with this. Like, let's come to, like, understand each other and move on. Because that's, like, a quality you want to have in a marriage where, like, no matter what, whenever it gets tough, like... You guys will always have each other's back. You're my rock. I'm your rock. Exactly. So, like, when you, like, love... At some point, love isn't enough. It's, like, you need to, like, learn how to handle problems. And that's, like, when life gets real. It's, like, after the honeymoon phase, I feel like. It's, uh, impor- so it's important to, like, have... So, although the honeymoon phase is, like, this awesome period, it's not till after that where you realize that this this is your person. You got what I mean? I honestly, that's until like, y'all start getting into fights and y'all Someone get over can it. disagree, but that's what I feel like. I feel like after that, you feel like okay, we either make it through and grow together or not. And then mm. at that point, it's like once it gets to a certain point, it's like love isn't enough, no matter how much you love the person. If you guys can't like grow together and like learn shit, because like when you're in a relationship, wouldn't you agree that? Usually, you should be in a relationship because they're either making you better and you're making them better at the same time. Mm-hmm. That's how a relationship works. Yeah. And so, yeah. when the honeymoon phase finishes, or the, when the honeymoon phase is done, y'all get into fights, whatever. Is then it becomes like the nit, like the what do you call it? It gets nitty and gritty. Where it's like, if I stay with this person, are they still gonna make me a better person at the end of the day? Do I still want to be with this person because mm. who fucking knows? Like, they make me study harder. They make me work harder. They make my life happier whenever I'm with them, blah, even when we're fighting. And then it's not till like that moment where you said, where you're like, you fall in love with them. 
that you're like, all right, this is my person for life. It doesn't matter what we get through or go through. I think I think you realize that when you like there's like some people where like you can't work the arguments out with you know like if you find someone who like you guys are both working together to like fix the problem then you're like oh shit okay so one one last question we can wrap it up so you said you've been in two relationships right <gasps> both have ended yeah cynthia you've been in two relationships both have ended you don't need to answer that just yet um how about me <laughs> but i said cynthia you you they're both are done right well, how come i have to answer it because both of y'all is done with yours. Answer. Like, you don't have the answer. She doesn't have the answer. You don't have the answer either. Okay. Have you had two relationships where they are both officially done? Like, you know it's over? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you've had one, now. though. Of course, you've had one where you officially know that it's over. Right? Yeah. Fuck, dude. I had a whole ass question. Sorry. I fucking lost. Like, so, like, I literally was leading up to so much shit. It's okay. After, like, are you talking about, like, was your question? was like, if, how do you feel afterwards? I was gonna ask how you feel afterwards, and I was gonna ask him before. I was gonna ask like, do you remember the moment where you were like, but both, both? Do you remember the moment where you're like, I should have ended it here? Yeah. Oh, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Like, how long have you dragged? How long did you drag <laughs> bro, any of your relationships? You're, the ones that you months. know you're done. Literally, probably like a year and a half for oh, one of them. Oh fuck! And then the other one probably like like a year because like okay i think girls do this thing where like you mentally check out first yes heard about that. and then you when you break up it's like kind of easier because you like checked out months ago like years ago yeah. like a girls, year ago girls break up been in a relationship okay, but then, okay mm-hmm. but that's stereotypical because that only happened once yeah that's true it's yeah because yeah it you're different. right it was different it was from one of my relationships, I just okay. checked out. That's, that's way fine. Long ago, yeah. Wait, were you about to say something? Because I'm gonna chime in at that. You're gonna with your past, the first relationship you had. I'm gonna say both. What? Both what? Well, if I want, if I want to, you'll cut it out. So I'm not tripping. What? Wait, what? <laughs> what? No, like you. If continue with it. You um. Know so um, how come you dragged it out for so long? Um. Be- did you just not? Did you always keep thinking that it's gonna get better? You know what? Or were you just I don't like, even I'm know why I dragged it on. First, okay, I think it's like mixed, like so many reasons mixed together. Also, also, if you don't want to talk about it, you don't need to talk about it. Oh no, it's fine. I okay. can talk about it. It's just like, I think it's like one, you you stay with them because you're like, am I gonna find anyone better? It's like insecurity, you know, mm-hmm. in a way. And then like another one is probably like, I've been with this person for so long, like that, ending that. it here now, like that's such a waste. Which is yeah. not like yeah. you should never. Yeah. That don't should feel never like that. Do you, do you always yeah, feel like you can all that work yeah. for nothing? That's yeah. Do you always feel like you can fix it though? Like do that, not yeah. stay with your person when you stop loving them just because you stayed for them for. Because so you feel bad. Yeah, and like, one of my friends, she's in that situation right now, and she's like, yeah. oh, "We've been together for like two and a half years," and I'm like, all "Girl, but but like that doesn't matter. You're not happy. You don't. You're not happy. He's treating me like shit. Like." But, you know, I've been where she's at, so, like, I can't even blame her. So. Do, do you ever feel like you can fix it? Like, you're like, I can fix him. Or just the relationship in general. Yeah. Have you had, in that year I, and a half or, like, months? That I know people like that. They're, like, they'll refuse, like like you said, like, they'll refuse to give up. It's, like, like yeah. they, they're they, going to change. Like, they know deep down, like, yeah. they're going to they're gonna change for me, like, you know? Yeah, I think so. You so you slap them and be, like. I think that's another reason. Like, you're, like, they'll eventually change. Like, the relationship will change. Maybe I'll change. Like, we'll both change. But then it gets to a point where you're like, this will never change. You know what I mean? And, and then that's when you're like... I feel like it takes a while out. to realize that. Is and then that, you're like, it fuck. Is, is that what happened with you specifically in a relationship where you're just like, you realize like, this fucking dude is not going to change. Yeah. I got to I think leave. it was both of my relationships. That's when I was like, okay, this is not this is not going to work out. Like, nothing's changing, you know? Um, Cynthia, chime in. Same with you. When it, when, when it came out, because she said a year and a half. You said it's been, it was a couple months. Where you were like dragging it out, where you knew like, like looking back, you knew you should have been over with this dude way back when, and you dragged it out for a couple months. Did you yeah. drag it out because you thought we've been in a, like a rough patch before it gets better? Like somewhat, like I just kept giving him like chances after chances, mm-hmm. but then like I feel like somewhere deep, deep down, like I knew like he would never change. It was just me like feeling bad for the relationship ending. Yeah, Ooh. that makes sense. Did you want to chime in at all? Or are you good? Um, so like, I feel like my first relationship it was kind of like my fault 
it's part of like maturity like i learned from it mm-hmm. so like the first one i don't really have anything to say um but the second one um i feel like at this point it's just more like part of it is i don't want to end it because i feel like we can get through this and you've been through rough patches before yeah so like it's more like breaking the cycle finally like coming to realization like okay this is designating like okay this is the problem we can fix this so i feel like that's really just the issue now it's just like can we get through it do we love each other enough to like understand each other not necessarily agree with each other but just understand each other We're like okay this is what's going on we can talk about it and get through get over it see i think that's scary bro because some relationships like like i said like because when you think about it it's kind of like when it comes to relationships you got to ask yourself that question and some people keep telling themselves like oh we can't get over this we can't get over this and it's been done for like for so long and it's just sucky because you never really know especially when you're in a long ass relationship you never really know when it's done because you're like, bro, you can keep telling yourself like, bro, I've been through rough patches before. We gotten over it, blah, blah, blah. And some people, you talk with some people and they're like, I should have ended it here. I should have mm-hmm. ended it fucking a year and a half ago, a couple months ago. Like they knew. Yeah. It's scary. That's another thing that's scary about relationships. There's been moments where like I knew, okay, like this is over with. Yeah. But. Y'all worked through it. We worked through it. Exactly. So it's like, no matter what, I just like to like play it through and like, okay. Yeah. I'd rather not have any regrets or not have any like thoughts in my head like oh if like maybe it could have worked if we just worked on this or yeah. did this differently. Yeah. That's why I just play it through. No, it makes sense. Mm. Other than that though, we can probably wrap it up. But did anyone else want anything? To ch- anyone else want to add anything else? Lucas, Sophia, Fabulous, no. Madi- you, Go ahead. What do you want to ask? Okay, I was gonna ask you, cause like when you were asking the questions, you were like, oh, so like, what's the point of like being in a relationship, right? if like the honeymoon's not gonna last so like i was gonna ask you like are you looking for something where like you're always gonna be like in that honeymoon phase is that what you're looking for like no i mean luke said it before Mm -hmm. you're gonna you're gonna fight like fighting is inevitable doesn't matter what you do Mm -hmm. um doesn't matter who it is obviously you're gonna fight in relationships Mm -hmm. and i've heard from a lot of people i've even heard from my parents like if y'all don't fight y'all ain't really in love that's true Mm -hmm. you know if you ain't fighting with someone there's something wrong there you know what i'm saying like there's something wrong like if you literally are it someone someone said it but i'm not quoting it right someone said something where it's like I, i'm using the word boring but it's not boring you don't care enough about yeah it to yeah write. like if because yeah. because like with all it's with, infatuation with my best yeah. friends versus my regular friends if my best friends piss me off i'm gonna call you the fuck out yeah i'm gonna be like bro fix this do this fucking you you Whatever, whatever the fuck it is, right? With my friends, though, I'm just gonna let it pass because it's kind of like, why? What's the point of arguing with you? Like, I'm not. I don't necessarily rely on you. You're not my stone. I don't. We're talk not to like you. that. We're yeah. not like that, bro. Exactly. You're literally just my friend. So yeah. that's where it comes with the whole fighting. Like, I realize that, but the thing that I'm talking about with the honeymoon phase and fighting is the fact where it's like, the honeymoon phase is awesome and all that. And I know that fighting is going to happen. Yeah. I just haven't been in a relationship because I haven't found someone mm-hmm. where it's worth it to fight. I see. That's that's all it is. It's not the fact oh. that I'm scared of fighting. It's just that I haven't found someone that it's where it's worth to fight. Would you say the same thing with me, Luke? Or are you on a different wavelength? No, nah, I'm just scared in general. Scared of what? Relationships? Or scared of, scared of getting your heart I know damn well if I get my heart broken, it's going to be a long... It's going to be like... Oh, a, it's going to be like... I know I am. It's gonna be like, like a year, like years. Yeah, it'd, like lifetime. It'd be like that. I, yeah. I don't know. I'd be like, See, that, that's insane. Because I always thought you and me were on the same boat, but I'm not scared of getting my heart broken. You ever uh, heard? Uh, it's better to love and loss than to it's never have loved at all. Yeah. Well, shit, I don't know, man. Because yeah. okay. I know, I know how I am. Yeah. If I get my heart broken, simp. it's gonna be, it's gonna be a long recovery. But yeah, you gotta go yeah, through bro. That. When but I, like, when I'm, I'm like kind of down at this point. I'm like, fuck <laughs> it, let's just run it up. Luke, when I, when my, I got my heart broken. You were there for me. You know, but, like all your homies. Gonna but it's be there not even like homies. It's just it, like, no, it makes it's like my, difference. it's like my own thing. Yeah, like you it know, don't, it, don't, it, it don't, makes a difference. No, like I'm wait, telling you, from someone like, that's been there, that like it makes a huge difference. That that's true to a certain extent. But it's kind of like, bro, you have to realize. Think back. At the end of the day, bro, it was you accepting the fact that it was over. I gotta move on. It was not even that. No, you, it's you, the support. 
that like yeah you already knew you already knew that it was over and you accepted the fact it's still heartbreak did dude. you but see my question is it's before still that hold on, hold on before it's that, sort of like did you know depression. did you know that your boys had your back before that did you know that your boys got you no that's it I know my fucking guys got me if I ever went through a heartbreak, but it's the fact where it's like, I got to get through it myself. Yeah, for sure. That's Dude. what it is. I know any of y'all would cheer me up. I know I'd get good morning text, good night text from y'all. I know you guys <laughs> would probably send me your own Good nudes. mornings at 2 p.m. It's not like, yeah. oh, like your <laughs> boy is like, oh, it's we move that. on. Let's go to the party. Let's go do that. No, no it's the act no, of support. Not, That's what I'm that. saying. But but it's I Luke. feel like, again, it's different from people to people, but I'm, I'm with Luke on the same way. I feel like if I get my heart broken, no matter how much y'all do for me, at the end of the day, bro, it's me. Dude, you know what the me. worst feeling is? Is like when you get your heart broken and like you know the only person that can make you feel better is that person. Is that person. Oh yeah. uh, <laughs> no! It's like 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 hey, not, yeah. not like like you guys are like, like you guys are good friends, flag. but like oh. like I wouldn't be like like you guys aren't yeah, gonna give me like the same the same yeah. emotions, you yeah. know. Yeah. Like you guys would probably be like, oh, oh yeah, that's my boys, but I'd be yeah. like, there's only one solution to this problem. Yeah. Yeah. The nights are the She's hardest. Bitch. I want to so. be her. I want to be her boy. Can we start talking about this? Yeah, yeah we can wrap. So sad. Yeah, we can wrap it up. <laughs> yeah, but fuck. Yeah, get it. What a mas- great podcast. Pregunta. Yeah. Tell me. For like Luke and Nick, like, would you guys say you've never experienced a heartbreak? Because like, because no, I feel I like talking stages could also like lead to a heartbreak. I like, feel like a I lot have. of my friends have experienced heartbreaks with like. They're sneaking links or like they're talking stages. I'm not gonna lie. Like so what I, I said have. earlier, I get really obsessed or like not obsessed, but I'll be like really into it if we're not even dating. Head over heels. Yeah, yeah. Like I'll, I'll, I'll be like you, you, I'll you, be, you fall in love. Yeah, bro. I'll be like in love and then, and like I don't know how they feel and then maybe like the whole time it wasn't even like that. Yeah. I definitely, I definitely be like, yeah. Nah, fuck, um, dude. To, to go off of that, to it's just that, suck. That's why I don't. No, know. That's why, yeah, it just sucks. No, I've definitely, I've definitely experienced heartbreak and all it's like that. I'm getting fucking edged off, dude. Fuck, sorry, <laughs> it's like I'm so close, <laughs> and I'm just like. Nah, I'm man. See, now I want to fuck. All right, yeah, get out, out of here. Get out of here. I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna wrap it up. That comment, yeah. bro. I'm gonna wrap. Luke, you gotta at least say your goodbye. I'm gonna wrap it up right now. Okay, no, I've experienced, I've definitely experienced heartbreak, but not like a, a fucking serious heartbreak. You get what I'm saying? Now, other than that, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Luke just tapped out of the podcast. He's doing push-ups in the corner. He needs to get up. Um, Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This has been a really interesting, funny, fucking, I have no idea what the fuck happened this podcast. I'm not going to lie. But listen, guys, at the end of the day, wear protection, experience heartbreak, and know, know when to break up with someone. You know, probably gonna have to learn a couple times till you realize, but knowing you have to break up with someone. I'm your host, Nick Rajeta. I'm Maru. I'm Beyonce. Daniel Fabrice. I'm the creator. And at the end of the day, guys, it's just me, Maru, Cynthia, Luke, and a 40 year old man. Take care, guys. <laughs> Be safe. And I will see you guys on the next segment <gasps> of Suburb Talks. Peace out, motherfuckers. Holy shit, that got way too intense. Way too quick. What the fuck just happened? Fuck. Welcome to the apartment.